Okay, I don't know if anyone told you, but there's chocolate and then there's chocolate. But only Wonka's makes your eyes pop out your socklet. Put your hand into your pocket. Like, get yourself some Wonka chocolate. <laughs> Dude, if you have not seen the new Wonka movie, go see it. It is, it's been taking the nation by storm. It's been taking me by storm. I've seen it two times, but like, I want to watch it every single day. The music is so fun. It's so fun. I watch that movie and I'm like, okay, I want to take a tap dance class and I want to be in a musical immediately. Anyways, <laughs> so today's video is going to be about Willy Wonka, but in a, in a different way. So I have always liked the Wonka franchise and honestly, I was very like, hesitant about this new movie just because like Tim Burton's was so so good mm. I had the CD I would listen to that on my way to Greek school every week and yeah that was my life my grandma she lived with us at the time and that was her favorite movie she's like I hope this is the last movie I watch before I die and it was okay that was maybe morbid but anyways <laughs> I had a Tim Burton inspired Charlie and the Chocolate Factory birthday party when I turned 11. And when I tell you my birthday parties were events, like this was stuff the kids at school were looking forward to because I had a stay at home mom and she just did everything in her power to make sure I had the most whimsical and magical and memorable childhood. So she would start planning my birthday party in like July and then she would get cardboard from like grocery stores and paint it into things and like all the girls in my grade were invited it was it was it was the event okay I need you to like get a picture and understand so I have this old photo album and we are going to dive right into it so starting off strong we have this like little puppet show thing and inside we have Pinocchio but in this story he's not Pinocchio he is the singing puppet when you enter and uh if you don't recall let me just give you a little jingle jangle the amazing chocolate dear okay well if that didn't scare you away and you're still here shout out to you so that and then they all lit up and fire and we had the doll hospital because that was one of the rooms in the factory where the dolls get repaired after accidentally being set on fire also you would notice this little teeny tiny oompa loompa right there as you can see when you enter the factory there's veruca salt nope What's her name? Violet Beauregard. We have Violet Beauregard. Uh, she turned into a blueberry. And if you see right there, teeny tiny Oompa Loompa. So my youngest brother, Hootie, we put him in a Power Rangers costume because it was like blue and vinyl-y. And the Oompa Loompas in that movie, they had all different colored outfits. And I'm sure they wore blue at some point in the movie. So that was the closest thing we had. We put him in that costume and we took a picture of him like doing a whole bunch of different poses. And then we cut him out and put him all over the house or the factory. I had this Power Ranger toy dressed up with a wig on to represent the Oompa Loompa who ate the candy and then like that hair growth candy. Why am I doing this? Okay. <laughs> And there he is. I don't know why when they print it off their faces turn kind of blue, but <laughs> this is my mom and dad's room and they put like the bucket grandparents in the bed. Like, <laughs> cause you know how in the movies they were all like laying in that one bed. If you've seen the movies, you're gonna know. Like if you haven't seen the movies, like what are you doing watching this video? But at the same time, why am I judging you? You just wanna feel included and get cultured. So you're welcome, you can stay, you can stay. Oh, so cute. I'm so glad my mom wrote the information. This room right here, this area, 
is the testing lab, which is where all the new creations are made in the factory. And we could see a Oompa Loompa there and a Oompa Loompa there. And we got the nerds candy. I forgot she made such cute invitations. And I guess they got a golden ticket to come to the birthday party. Here we have some more candy. We got our Oompa Loompa working, working and twerking. My cake, which I didn't realize how morbid it is till this exact second is Violet Beauregard as a blueberry, and then we have gum all around her. This was probably one of the most magical and memorable experiences of my childhood. So I remember getting off the bus from school, and this wasn't the day of the party, this was a few days before, and my mom made a chocolate waterfall in our house. So how she did it, she just got tablecloths like from the dollar store, like the greenery of the hills in the factory on the side and then she got a brown tablecloth to be the chocolate and then she put a chocolate fountain on top of it and then she made candy trees and put like actual candy on it and I remember I came off the bus one day and I walk into the kitchen and it's just like this beautiful like I don't know you're probably looking at it now like Really? Really? Like the dollar store tablecloths? Dude, I cannot tell you how insanely magical that was as a kid. And then here it was on the day of the party. So we have all these treats all around it and marshmallows and cut up fruit that you could put into the chocolate fountain. Something that was also super cool is we had a little candy store. So at the end of the party, everyone got to pick things that they wanted from the candy store to bring home in their gift bag. Here's some more just like candy in the factory. We got an employee of the month. <laughs> no way! Because all the Oompa Loompas look the same. These are the jokes. These are the jokes, people. Look at me, a little 11 year old me. Happy birthday! <gasps> oh my gosh, I totally <laughs> forgot. So the party didn't just look cool. We had really fun activities. So starting off, we were Augustus Gloop. So we have these little tents that were the chocolate suction cup things. You know, like the thing that he gets like sucked up by the chocolate pipe or whatever. And we got these oversized shirts and put a ball in our stomach because I'm not trying to like body shame, but like Augustus was a big boy. So you put that in and then you go through the obstacle course. So there was two lines and then you put on the shirt, put on the stomach. You have to get through the tube, run to the other side, unwrap a chocolate, eat the chocolate, run through the tube and then pass the shirt to the next person in line. And then and then it was a relay race in this movie. They had the squirrels like testing if it was a good nut or a bad nut. So what we had to do is we had to have a balloon between our legs. And again, this one was a relay race too. And then there's the garbage because she fell down the garbage chute. We have to go around the garbage to the chairs. And then you have to sit on the chair till the balloon pops because that's the nut. And you had to crack open the nut before you could go back and have your next player go. And for Violet Beauregard, we had a bubble blowing contest and the person who blew the biggest bubble was the winner. I like this picture that my mom just labeled. Wait, can you see the word? It just says, yo. For opening the presents, what we did is we sat on this colorful, beautiful parachute and then we had marshmallows. And what they had to do is they had to put a marshmallow in their mouth and go, Happy birthday, Coco! Here is our candy shop. Ooh, God, hold on. Our candy shop in action. And my mom would invite her friends to come to the party just to make sure there was a lot of supervision because we had like 40 11 year old girls at our house. So gotta make sure everybody's safe. The same year that I had my Charlie and the Chocolate Factory birthday party, my brother was, he did musicals and stuff. And he played Willy Wonka in the middle school play of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. So he had the cast party at our house. And then the, there they all are celebrating after their show. It was my super cool Willy Wonka birthday party. 
<laughs> Guys, be real with me. I need you, I need you to tell me. I need you to tell me if you enjoyed this and you wanna see more of my birthday party recaps, let me know because I could totally make that happen. Anyways, I'm gonna wrap this video up. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.